Fuck that turn up. Fiber is on the road. What the fuck? I can get on the road now. There we go. Furley's gonna go from first, from last to first. Mm, I doubt it on this track. Mm. How about ramming people? Yeah, you know how that goes. You just Gran Turismo them out the way. <laughs> just kind of give them Doesn't work with these open wheels. Get your elbows <laughs> out. <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm. There's like no way to make that line go away, is there? Probably. Generally, you can take away the race line. But who knows? Gotta worry about no one passing me. My best lap was probably the very first one I did. Like driving wise, I'm sure the other one was a little quicker just because of the rolling through the start of the second lap, but drove it like a turd. Five laps. I don't think you can turn it off. It's there somewhere. Mm. Or maybe if you go to like a different difficulty level, it goes away or something. As opposed to just turning it. You don't want that shit off. <laughs> yeah, I do. It looks no, terrible. You don't. You need to know when to break. <laughs> oh, I know when to break. You break before you turn. I can do the lines, but the breaking is will be difficult. You break before you turn. So here we are, after a breathtaking <laughs> simple concept, yesterday, really. The cars are taking their final positions on the grid. It's time now for the Singapore Grand I don't care about grid lineup. I know where I'm at. I don't care where I am, what the lineup is either. You're in like 
fourth place. Oh, well, look, there are cars behind me. What the fuck? Okay, we're hitting the rated limits on the MGU H. The power unit is going to be more prone to overheating. Clipped an outcropping on the wall. That's safe. Oh, and then a car hits me. Right as I get straightened out, a car hits me and spins me a perfect 180. I was just riding up along the wall, and suddenly a second of the wall is like poking out like two feet. So I caught that shit and spun around backwards. Turned around straight, then got hit by a car behind me. They got spun around backwards again. It's not there, dude. Well, <laughs> perfect 180 again. Okay, clear. No matter how I try to steer into it out of it, breaking. I think that's how they counter you the douche driver. Like, Car All right, we're seeing a loss of power from the turbo charger now. Loss of power on the turbo. They break early, yet they pull away from me coming out of the turn. Being enabled this lap, we can use DRS when you are within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone.
Yeah, I actually went and Hey look, I did a 180 again. <laughs> Got everyone stopping behind me though. <laughs> everyone has to stop behind me. Stop facing the wrong direction. I didn't move the plate. Good thing we're not doing like 20 laps. Okay, like gap ahead is 1.5 seconds. What'd you say that engineer was in there? I said it's like amazing, like, I mean, it's a good thing we're not doing like 20 laps because the tires are shit after like two laps. Yeah, especially when you spin a lot, it takes them a little while for them to cool back down to where they'll grip. How's that overtake where I ran Schumacher into the fucking wall? <laughs> Poor Mick. How's that overtake where I just fucking ran right to me and out of my fucking way? Wait, no, he just went inside me. Get off the me. He just retired. Oh, he's spinning me. What the fuck? Oh, hey, look, I did a 180. Imagine that. I got spun and I did a perfect 180. Just right in. Did something. Final lap, final lap of the race, we're leading our teammate by 13.8 seconds. I did it! I got black flag. Oh, are you trying to get this qualified? My fucking last place. Every time I get two spaces up, someone bumps me and makes me do a perfect 180. Can't keep going. No matter how I counter steer or brake or gas or turn or that last one was breaking in was the fucking the final straw. He's like behind me, like to my right. He's scraping the wall and me, but behind me. But then suddenly I spun out and did a 180. And he's in 12th place. He went up two places. <laughs> and just fucking blew past me and made me spin out and was gone. Hard to compete with them when they break early, but accelerate away so fucking fast. What a great race it's been then. Here comes What'd you turn them up to? 39 from turn them 34. Turn them down two. Mm. Mm. It wouldn't have been so bad if I qualified. said no comment and no comment. She said, sounds like there's some work to do back there. <laughs> Hearing voices. So 
Worker of the Americas ought to be showing up any time now. Uh oh. We're going to Fuji. One or more fitted vehicle components have excessive wear. <laughs> Try three of them. No extra part to fucking put on. Warning. You'll get a grid drop penalty. Okay, I don't care. Can't race without fucking parts on the car, so. Yep. There's three fucking penalties right there for the three parts that are fucking burned out. I don't think we don't really have enough points to get anything going in R&D. I know we were expecting some new developments to come through, but some of them have failed well, quality control. Two of our things fucking we'll both failed. We need to tell the team what to redevelop via the R&D screen. <clears throat> hey look, Suzuka. Never raced there before. Mm -mm. And they'll turn up top over the rise and fucking... Around right the bend of Grandma's shit. house? You talking about the one after the chicane? The big, the no, top part. No, there's like a there's a straightaway, and then you make a left turn, and a wide left, long left, and as you're making that left, it's starting to rise, and you should, it gets uh, to where the rise drops, and right after the drop is the a right hand turn left and a right hand turn, or right and then left, two right hand turns. The chicane's super sharp, short, but you've built all this speed. And then you can't see it because you're going over this rise right before it. It's long left hand turn down at the bottom of the track. <clears throat> I think it's before the right hand that takes you across the finish line, but I'm not. I don't know. I don't know. Remember that as I'm trying not to uh, to do that. I'm trying to remember that if I look look out for it on the track. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, keep an eye on like the, the mini map part of it or whatever. You'll know it when you do it. Done any Grand Tours on many times. I always try to forget Suzuka because I don't particularly like it. It's not going to matter, dude. He's probably still going to come on and go, Your shit's going to break. <laughs> right. I'll qualify pole position and they'll put me in 18th for penalty. I'm wondering how that's going to work out. Oh, we're going to be, we're going to take it in the shorts, dude. Fail. Fail the big 
fifty percenter. This guy fucking failed out. Yeah, it happens. I mean, I got a few. Just that last one, I didn't. I didn't get it. I got the one like hundred percenter, and then didn't get anything else. 50s, 70s, they don't care. Raining for qualifying. We've got rain. Going track. Thirty place grid penalty. I guess I'll be in last no matter what. I literally could get the pole in there, and I'm gonna be in the fucking nosebleed seat. Oh, I start a lap behind. like just angle that, just cut it, and like get the cross the fucking track. <laughs> 30 grid position penalty. There's only fucking 20 of us on the track. <laughs> It didn't move us down. So even though we pulled one and two, we're starting nineteen and twenty. Oh, is that where we are? Yeah. <laughs> I think. Yeah, yeah, we have a thirty a thirty <laughs> grid position penalty. So yeah, like twenty we, spots on the track. Because we fixed the car. <laughs> <laughs> but there's only twenty spots. Stupid ass game. <laughs> what are we gonna get? Ten more grid position penalties next race? What do you mean qu I didn't get a qualifying position? How I did it say I did? I don't even understand what it's doing. I don't care. We're both right up there, one and two, and we both had a 30-whatever penalty. Slight difference in time, but both up top. So, unfortunately, we've picked up some grid penalties, and we'll be starting further back than you expect. As for how bad it is, yeah, rub it in, buddy. What the other drivers get. Well, yeah, if we're in 19th and 20th, the other drivers will not be behind us. <laughs> hey, that's good news. The other drivers got jack shit. 
and I'll just try not to run into you. Welcome to one of this we'll year's most challenging races, <laughs> where the combination of high speed <laughs> and complex <laughs> corners <laughs> makes this one of the no, drivers' favorite that tracks. Is the it's time for the Japanese, the Japanese Grand Prix. The Japanese Grand Prix. The Japanese Grand Prix. You're in front of me, dude. <laughs> Right up the far right hand side, I'll pass everyone I can over here. Right side of the thing, get up. I got a penalty too for it. I mean, I did bump tonight. That's hilarious. You came in hell. I thought I came in hot, bro. You came in like a fucking hot knife with butter. Schumacher, the track is green. You might have saw a deer run out in front of him. That happened though. <laughs> no. Rocket in the tires this really is last week. Why am I locked on his tire? Like <laughs> a Schumacher. Oh my god, he's passing me on the straight! Stop with my car! You don't have the line, buddy! Dude, you must have swiped in at right the right time, dude. I don't see you up in the side. Man, if there's only two cars behind me. <laughs> We've been awarded a time penalty. It will go against our finishing time at the end of the race. <laughs> I went out there with you, dude, and I got passed by one car, and I was a dude between us. Yeah, Maz a spin. He almost just sent me off the road when I bumped into him. He almost killed somebody in Belgium over the weekend. Oh, man. That spa. He's a white man. He's a fucking stupid. This is where I pass Schumacher. Don't work! Okay, Rick, tell me I'll race more to the man. What's that? Pull out around that. Talking smack to your engineer. Yeah, he's like, all right, nice move there. That puts you up a place. Yeah, I know what it means to pass a guy. <laughs> DRS will be enabled this lap. You can use it when within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. So. Put the thumbs out and everything. under steer like I was turning too tight so I let off the steering slightly and right back to steering and that was enough to almost totally whoa dude you just like flying up in the fucking air dude no clue what Sounds it was like shot straight up in the air car. from your car <laughs> went straight up in the air it was black alright here in a second I'm gonna let you go past me I'm gonna tell you where wait till the straightaway up here you're pulling away from me now. 
straight away after this monster. Let this happen. You just need to go that wide, bro. <laughs> This is a no-breaker if you turn it right. Son of a bitch. That gives us a point, dude. Good job. You can always fight for that point, you know, if you're not going to finish up in the podium area. Yeah, at least get whatever you can, can always, to help. Yeah. Teams do it all the time. Breaking in again, I'm up this fucking tailpipe. That guy just retired out of nowhere. Just like said, fuck it, I'm done. He was racing if all season. I did season. that shit, I'd win one, one race and fucking retire. Take a few million dollars and just be done. I don't know, it'd be pretty tempting to try to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you like put your life in your hands doing this shit, dude. Yeah, that's true. Trust someone else on the road and not be a dick bag. Take your life in your hands walking your doggy. True, but once you walk your dog at 200 miles an hour, <laughs> one's a little safer than the other, generally speaking. <laughs> With a, 19 other dog walkers in close proximity to you. <laughs> Ooh, Lando just took your point. So I cross. Yep. This is your final lap. Final lap of the race. What are you running? 132? Oh, don't do that to me, buddy. Two guys in line. Oh, no. Connor right on top of each other. I should be able to pass them both. Uh oh. Spin it. No, I got into a gravel track. Trap. That was the yellow was for me. Let you buy this is F1. Well, then it's bumper car. I'm not gonna pass anyone else this is far ahead. Right up on him though at that S turn. Another fast lap one thirty one seven ninety. There was some bumping going on up in that shit too. I probably got a penalty or two. <laughs> yeah, not F one, dude. They don't do that. You gotta go cleanly around them. Not yield spots, they don't give a shit who's on the racing line. Dangerous. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Open wheel car, open cockpit. Mm -hmm. 200 something miles an hour. It was a tough race at times. Kill him on the look at the. Team finished first and third. Those guys, it looked like. Yeah, McLaren first and third. What a mo! Look at that guy. All right, now I'm gonna get a nasty email from the manager. That lady. 
I gotta go to the bathroom, so I gotta jump through yep. all this and get to the fucking workstation, and then I'll get up. Come back and sit here. I blame the team more than anything. Really? That's what I'm gonna... Oh, I have to say that. The other things are locked. Oh, I'm gonna say no comment. I can't say to blame the team for everything. I wouldn't blame anybody for anything. <laughs> At this point in our career. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think they're not even letting me talk to the press. They're like, we don't even want to talk to that loser. <laughs> I so I skipped one question and she says something like, okay, yeah, 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 and then I and then I answer the next one and she goes, oh well, thanks for nothing, then or whatever. I'm like, I answered it. <laughs> All right. The other one I didn't answer. All right, I'll be right back too. All right. So. One more. Yep. Sounds good. We got enough money to get something for the car this time. Yay! What are we gonna get? Twenty-five seventy-five. We can do engine cover distribution. To do cockpit weight reduction, heat dispense dispersing wheel rims, have some weight reduction. Well, let's see which one's like on the biggest discount. Huh? Uh, 
Now let's upgrade complete rear wing outer strikes. Development failed. Reshaped combustion chamber. Review the upgrade to attempt development again. Supplier upgrade has arrived. Air filter. We got a new air filter. Alright, where's the one that failed? Right there. 0% chance of failure for the second try, but it won't be done until October 17th, which is before the next one. So we'll have that. Magnetic compound. Rotor speed. Oh, here's another failed energy store reliability testing. Find that, get it re-going. That'll be done on the 15th, so well, that's two things we'll have for sure for the next race. That's too expensive. That lightweight cockpit. Insufficient points. Oh, it must have cost us points to redo those other things. Dang it, man. Now we only have 1,700. That's not enough to do anything. But we'll have two things done before the next race. The United States Grand Prix. Where's that at? Circuit of the Americas. The United States Grand Prix. The name of the track is Circuit of the Americas, or they okay. call it CODA. Well, the new parts come through the fabrication process. We'll have them with us for the next Grand Prix. I have no idea where it is. <clears throat> Looks like I'm gonna get lost, I can tell you that. Yeah, it's like tight and lots of turns. Watch, we still have 10 fucking position losses too from that 30. Do we? Maybe. We're losing the constructor standings now, but not by much. <clears throat> we'll make up for it here. Roller coaster. Giant super slide. Sit in your uh, burlap sack to go down that thing. It's like the county fair. <laughs> Make sure you don't get your hand or your butt off that sack, otherwise, you get your fucking ass burned, your fiberglass burned. Mm -hmm. Right. Should get underneath your skin. Like a mofo. Damn Fall it. Over from there. Failed by 25. Failed it again. Oh, and then missed by 30 seconds being able to do a three minute one. And that, two fails. Couldn't drive a lap without leaving the track while also attacking corners and achieving competitive corner speeds. Couldn't do it. Hit the button wrong. All right. 
paint. For all the marbles. It's not raining. <clears throat> Look at that shit, dude. Oh, Hold on just a second. Don't don't go to the track. Right over here, you can barely see the race line on the road. Nice wide track for the most part, though. Oh, 
right. I think we can call that a successful qualifying. We should be in with a good chance in the race. You go up the little hill in the beginning, you go up that hill and make a left, like all that second with all that colored shit on the ground, man. That was fucking ugly. start to see a loss of power. Battling it out with Chuck Norris. He's still up there. Hey, what? He's still up in the park. Yeah. DRS is being enabled this lap. We can use DRS when you are within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone.
just all over the back of her stopping right there for a second. <laughs> you get those S's right, they're fun. It's hard, that one at the top of the hill. Because it goes back and forth, back and forth, so if you get off at all, Okay, you just gotta make sure you're going the right speed. Pedal all the way down is the only speed I know. That's the lap of the race, and my first two sections were red. They get kind of tighter the more you go through them. You almost got to kind of coast through them. They get tighter for the end. I'm doing purple that time. Collision with Verstappen? How about Verstappen colliding with me? <laughs> a little bit more like it. Oh, my car is totally spluttering and shit, dude. <laughs> like in the middle of the straightaway, it's all and it just cuts out completely. <laughs> so weird. We cut that like the car's about to die. <laughs> I've had fucked up parts on my car before, but I've never had the engine like make it sound like this. You like the chitty chitty bang bang car? Yeah. We're cutting in and out. It might be my PlayStation. My PlayStation didn't do that. Uh, that was like... This is your final lap. Final lap of the, the, the race. Quicker and quicker until it's now off and run away. Ben doing like one cutter here and one cut there and then a second ago... He's <laughs> doing like fucking eight in a row fucking cuts in and out. It doesn't really go accelerate slower, it just affects the top end. Like we should be doing 200 miles an hour down that straightaway. My car won't go that fast, what about yours? That won't break 200 miles an hour. It was just kind of, it was just totally random. It was doing it when I was braking, and doing it when I was full gas, doing it when I was coasting, turning, accelerating. Totally random sound cut out. That'll get us back a bit after those last two bad ones. They're stabbing for that. They take the checkered flag here in Austin after what has been another fabulous Grand Prix. Anthony Davidson, what helped them deliver this result, do you think? I think that smart time management on track and very smooth driving definitely assisted in their victory today. That combination meant they got the absolute... After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team. And they certainly deserve it. That's right, suckers.
in my fucking cookies. Hope you better be full of cookies. <laughs> Oreos too. I ain't only talking about no cheap. We talking about no cheap cookies. <laughs> All right, that puts us back in the the lead in the manufacturers by four points only with Red Bull. <clears throat> All right. But that puts us back in the lead God, of the competition, yeah. Constructors series, as they call it, and not the Amazing you know, whatever. Right Shut it, lady. Is it safe to say you're a winning combination? For now. How did it feel to be racing on home turn? Fantastic. Another podium. You must be getting used to it up there. It looks like you've invested heavily in the development of new parts. Appreciate your time. Are you having a laugh? Are you having a laugh? <laughs> yeah. That's what has been said in Monaco. He's are you having a laugh? It's Monaco. <laughs> They're like telling him like turn this knob to like setting whatever, you know. And he's already you having a laugh? It's fucking Monaco. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a douchebag, you can't even fucking do two things at once. All right. Whatever, lady. Trying to tell me about rivalries. Rivalries. Worn components. Yeah, right. We got issues up in here. Like, how do we... How do we do this without getting penalties? Like, these people are allowed to work on the cars, right? Like, they can't fix the fucked up parts? Or, like, they have to get a whole new part to do it? Like, I don't, that's what I'm not getting. Like, why are these parts, they wear out? And then we can replace them a couple times, but then, of course, you got no more to replace. But while we're replaced with one, how come the old one ain't getting, like, fixed up? What was it for me? It was my... Control electronics. Or, oh wait, I do have a green one now. No penalty for this action. The first one is back to green. Or I don't know. Is that? It's not yellow. I don't know if it's worse. Over. Oh, yeah, it's worse. Dark green is bad. <laughs> overall wear wear forty percent. This thing's only overall wear forty or twenty seven percent. Yet it was sputtering out on me and shit. Yeah, but what's the ex its expected lifespan? 309 laps. 57 more laps. Oh, now I can't switch back. Oh, wait, I did. Okay, I did. Okay, wait, that one's 40. I can't tell which one I'm highlighting. Whatever. One's at 36, one's at 40. Whatever the 36 one is, I'm putting on. That's green, that's green, that's green. Okay, now these other ones, that's green. This one yellow one has some green also on it. And they're slightly lower. Like dark, dark, I guess the yellow turns to dark green. The yellow is 40% worn, and then this one green one is 37. I don't know, I can't see any of that stuff. That's all you. 